Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be making a heart. Actually, we'll be making it um, two different ways. And I saw these tutorials, two different tutorials. And uh, I want to give a shout out to, uh, I think it's i.deal3d. And I'll put a link in the, in the description below, as well as Blender Boost. I'll put a link for his video as well. Assuming it's a guy, don't really know. However, I do it a slightly differently because I tried their way and I, I I had to change it a little bit just to get it to work. So here we go. Let's get started. So first up, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to hit delete. And don't forget to pay attention to my keys in case you don't remember. All the information will be right here. So I'm going to hit delete. Whew, ah, that worked. Sometimes it doesn't. I have to do other things. And we're going to add an object. We're going to click add mesh and a UV sphere. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make this transparent. And how do we do that? There's a button up here called X-ray. We're going to want that as well as we want to change this to edit mode on this side so we can edit it. Wow. it's a lot of buttons. So I'm going to click away. That way we can see all this. And now we're going to be able to choose things here. Now what I want to do right at this point is choose this line right here. However, it's really, I'm zooming in with the mouse right now, the center click wheel right here. And as you can see, it's a little bit offline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be re, uh, using this to get exactly the center. So I can make sure that I get these lines exactly right now. Look over here. I think this is called the viewpoint. I'm going to click on the X so I can get to the center of this. There it is. Now I can very easily select that center line. Now I'm looking here and you know what? I've chosen the vertices, which is great. However, what I want are the line, the line segments. So I'm going to click here. Now it's going to help me choose just that line right there. And that's what I want. Now, now that I have that selected, I'm going to click on this button right here for proportional proportional editing. Now I get to choose, clicking on the other side, what kind of pool I'm going to have when I manipulate this object. So I'm going to go for a root. Okay, now please pay attention to this. These blue and green, and there should be a red one here. All these lines are mimicked here. So when I want to find out what direction I want to pull something or move something, if I forget, I know these letters are very important because they help me do exactly what I want. And you'll see in a little bit. So right now I have that selected proportional editing and I chose root, I believe. Now I'm going to click the letter G. I just pressed it and I'm going to go down. See, that's creating a little bit of a heart, but also the Black Panther. If you're looking carefully, that's right. Wakanda forever. Hopefully, uh, there were no copyright violations there. But here's the thing. I haven't clicked on anything except the letter G, but you see this circle around the outside of the heart. You may not be able to see yours. What you want to do is you want to use the click wheel because it's probably really far away. You just want to zoom in and look at the numbers at the very top. Top left, the numbers are getting smaller. What you want to do is you want to get it to a point where it affects your heart in a way that you want it to. You see that? Now, if I wanted to, I can just have it affect the center, which is what it's doing right now. But I want it to affect more of the heart as I go down. Also, if you notice, the yellow line and the blue line are not aligned, which means this heart is not perfectly going straight down. To do that, I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit the letter Z. So now I'm stuck, forced to go straight down on the Z axis. See how the heart the outside of the heart is shaped by the click wheel. There you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click this to say, yeah, I like that. Now I'm going to move this whole thing. Well, my view of it, I'm going to hit shift and then the center wheel so I can see this. There you go. That's better. All right. So there you go. That's kind of a heart, but we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to look, I'm going to change the uh, angle and I'm clicking the center wheel and dragging around. Also kind of a big heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to click the letter A to select everything. There you go. And I'm going to hit scale. Now I could click 
these buttons over here for scale. It's this one right here, but I'm going to click the letter S. Now the whole thing moves this way. However, I want it to go whoa, along the red line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over here in the top right, this circle over here. Yep, right. It's the X. So I'm going to click the letter X. And now it'll only get skinny in that direction. You see how that works there. So I saw the X was the red one. I'm like, that's the direction I want to go. So I clicked the letter X and no, now it only moved in that direction. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So now I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to take off um, the settings for the X-ray as well as the, uh, oh, actually I actually need to click this one so I can see it better. There you go. That's what I want right there. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to focus on this part right here. Now, again, it's one of those things where I want to get perfectly aligned. I'm just going to click on the letter Z. Now I'm going to select by clicking and dragging over this center um, circle right here. So I'm going to click and drag. Did I get everything? I did. And I'm going to look around here. Just make sure I only got that part. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make that a center point, just one point. So I'm going to click the letter M for mesh, or I'm sorry, merge. And I want to merge them all at the center there. Now I've created that one singular point. Now I'm going to click on vertices select, which means I'm just going to vertex. Sorry, I'm going to click on here for the one single vertex. You see that? I only have that one selected. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click change the angle because I want to see what this looks like. I'm also going to hit shift and center click. Sorry, center click. And then I'm going to, again, this is on right now. So if I click the letter G, it's going to follow my mouse <clears throat> just like before, right? But I wanted to go, I'm going to, I'm going to use this click wheel thing because I only want it to affect the center part maybe a little bit more. You see how that's now, as you can see, it's not perfectly aligned. So I'm going to click the letter Z cause I want it to go straight down. And now, now it's doing it. Okay. Now the click wheel is what I'm doing to make this one go in and out right again. And again, this is what you want for a heart, right? Just let it do that. And there we go. We have our heart. Now to make it look pretty, which, you know, who doesn't want a pretty heart? That's uh, a lot of you, by the way. I'm going to click on object mode and I'm going to right click here and hit shade smooth. And then I'm going to click this button right here for shading. I'm going to click at this thing. It looks like a, the earth, but it's not. I'm sure one day I'll figure out what that thing is called. Now I'm going to click the base color and let's make this green. Now, it's kind of lame, I know, but it looks pretty cool if you actually change this right here where it says roughness. And uh, you're going to actually see my background and see what's behind me because it's going to be very reflective. And that's right. If you look closely, you can tell that I am outside right now in the wilderness making this tutorial. I told all the little animals to leave me alone. And, you know, I would let them speak again once I was done with this tutorial. So there you go. That right there is a heart. And let's show you another way. I'm going to click File, New, General. Do I want to save this? No. No one's going to save my heart. All right, so let's get started. Here we go. This is the second one. I'm going to change this to Edit Mode. I want, no, oh, actually, I'm going to click Away. And I'm going to change this to faces. I only want to select faces right now. So I click on this side and I'm going to hit shift and click on that side so that both are selected. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to extrude individual faces. Now the mouse is going to automatically, I'm going to move the mouse and it's going to make this thing right here. All right, great. Now I just want to choose the edges. So I'm going to click here. By the way, the shortcuts for these is the number one, two, and three on the top, the top numbers on your keyboard, not the number pad on the side. So now I'm going to select that edge, that edge, that one, and that one. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit control and the letter B. 
Now, nothing happened until you move your mouse. See, now some of you see this and some of you may see something else, but here, here's what we're gonna do. Mind you, all I'm doing is moving the mouse a little bit. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the scroll wheel, the center button in the mouse and make the edges curved. What I want is a nice curved top. There you go, I like that so far, so there. I click the, I clicked to say, yeah, that's what I want. All right, so very important part. When I was doing the tutorial originally um, with that other person, I think it's i.deal3d, I messed this part up and it really was frustrating, so please pay attention to this. I'm gonna select that line right there and click the X for delete, but I'm going to dissolve the edge. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. I'm gonna click on that, X, dissolve the edges. And now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Actually, before that, before I do that, I forgot one step. Okay, so I wanna just select these over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the X. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm going to select all of these lines right here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I have selected them. I'm gonna hit shift so I can get a better view of that. There you go, that looks a little bit better. And I'm going to just move them straight down with the letter G. But I also want them to be, oh, forgot to do one thing, sorry. Let me, uh, I'm gonna uh, right click on this. I wanna make sure it's transparent. And there, so I can select everything. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna select everything. There you go, both sides should be selected. Now I'm gonna click the letter G. And since the blue line is right there and I can see on the top right that it's Z, I'm gonna click Z. Now it'll go straight down with no worries. There. And now this green line tells me this is the Y. So first thing, I'm gonna select this. And then I'm going to click G. And what was, the green was the Y, so I'm gonna move that there. More, more heart-like. Okay, now we're good. I'm gonna try to click out of this. There you go. Let's do that and that. Oh, I wanna go to shading, there you go. So now, oof, I don't want the X-ray anymore. I'm gonna click on this line right here. I'm gonna click the X and dissolve the edge. Click on this, dissolve the edge. Let's go the other side, click on this, dissolve the edge, and click on this, dissolve the edge. All right, let's move this. I'm gonna hit shift so I can, and drag over here with the center click wheel. All right, so it looks like we're good. I've messed this up so many times that I don't even trust myself anymore. So here's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a little bit different than what I saw in the tutorial. I'm gonna click on the face right here. And it work, if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, well then I'll cry later. I'm gonna hit shift and click there. Okay, it looks good so far. So now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to hit control B. And I'm going to move this. Oh, it's working. It's working. Okay, if I go too far on this, that little artifact will appear. I don't want it to go that far. So now I have my heart. I want to look at this side. I'm going to merge it a little bit. So again, I'm going to choose this so I can see that and that. I'm going to select half of this. I think I got it right. Oh, you know what? I didn't. So let me just click on the Y. Better view here. I'm going to hit Shift and the click wheel to center it. All right, that's easier now to choose. And then I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> gonna move this over and actually I'm gonna click the letter G and then I'm going over the red which is X and then I'm just gonna move it over slightly I th actually hold on I'm gonna right click on that I'm sorry left click no that was the right one what I do want to do is get out of it because I see I chose the wrong s I didn't choose the half I chose all of it right there still choosing that all right well I want to try one more. There you go. I think I got it that time. I'm going to hit G and I'm, I'm just trying to move it over a little bit. And I'm going to go this way. I'm See how it's like not centered? And now that I see in the background, you guys, <clears throat> I noticed something. Because I'm going to undo that. See, it's off a little bit. I forgot to do one thing because half of it was selected. I didn't hit that button right there, the X-ray. Now the X-ray looks so confusing. And I want to hit Y. And I want to zoom in here. There you go. I don't want to hit that blue line when I'm doing this. And I think that was the issue earlier. Okay, now everything is selected. I'm going to hit G and X. And now it'll move it closer right there. Okay, now 
last thing for me is I don't like how fat it is. Maybe you do. That's cool. I'm okay with that. But I want to make it skinnier in the X direction. And that, that is the X. So I'm going to click A to select everything. I'm going to click the letter S for scaling. And then the letter X. Uh, nope. Yeah, the letter X. So I can scale it. And where's my mouse? Oh, I lost my mouse for a second. So I'm going to do that again. G to move. I'm sorry, S to because I want to scale it. But I only want to scale it in the X. So now, there you go. That's what I want. All right. Now I'm going to rotate it because it looks like it's fallen. Like it just had a bad breakup. That's it right there. All right. Now I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to change this settings right there. I'm going to right click on this to smooth. And of course, we got to make it pretty. So let's go ahead and click up there, that one. Now here, and I'm going to choose red. And of course, I'm going to smooth it out so you can see my background again. And you guys should be happy. Where is it? Roughness. I'm going to bring that down to zero because this tutorial is almost over. And all the, all the animals in the wilderness are going to be very happy that they can start talking to each other again. And thank you guys for paying attention. And don't forget, keep trying to do this. Try to do this without watching my video. You know, go get as far as you can. Come back to it, memorize the steps, because that's what I did to learn all this. I watch those videos. I try to do it on my own. And this is your chance to try to get this all down. Again, you can always come back and see what part you messed up because you're going to mess up. That's part of the process. And uh, just don't give up. This is going to take a while for you to master this, but you'll get there if you keep on trying. Have a great day.